In life, we are born from different backgrounds. We have the upper class or the rich people. Most of them are millionaires who own big companies. They can afford whatever they want to buy in most cases. Then we have the middle class or the working class. Most of them are government employees like nurses, teachers, police and soldiers, but to mention a few. They can afford basic things in life, like your house, a car, and many more. Last but not least, we have the lower class or the poor people. Most of them are domestic workers, gardeners, and others are unemployed. Even though we are born from different backgrounds, we most of the time long for similar things. All of us would like to have security in our life. Regardless whether it's security in the form of insurance, access control systems, intruder alarm systems, padlock, a dog, a fence, and many more. The most important part is that we feel safe when we are secured. Welcome to another informational episode of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information, communication, technology, networking for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtech series and will be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobi, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be learning security. As we all know, security is a broad topic, so in our lesson we'll be doing port security. We'll be using Packet Tracer for our lesson. So without any waste of time, let me open my Packet Tracer. I've already have my switches and laptops on my working place and my laptops already configured with IP addresses. So right now what I'm going to do or what I want to do right now is to use my laptop zero in order to ping the other three laptops to show that I can, I can be able to reach those laptops. So without wasting time, let me open my PC zero, go to command prompt, and then I'll ping 10.10.1.20, enter. As you can see, all the packets went through. Then let me ping another PC, 10.10. .10 dot one dot thirty all the packets run through and then let me pin the last one dot forty so all our pieces are reachable okay let me close my pc and now what i'm going to do i want to go into the switch that's connected to my laptop zero okay let me open that switch and i'll go to command line and then i'll tap enable it's a command that takes you to privilege mode or privilege exec the command that I would like to give is show port security interface first ethernet zero slash one. That command is the command that shows us the security of the port that we are in. By default, port security is disabled on our devices or on our switch. As you can see, port security disabled. Port security status, that is secure down. Violation mode, shut down. So if port security is enabled, it will take the violation of shutdown by default and only one MAC address is allowed when it is enabled. So what is port security? What I can say, port security is a way to limit the number of devices that can be present or that can be on your port. That maximum MAC address by default is one, but you can change it and make it the number that you want and it will take it. Configure terminal. Mm. Let me get inside my interface first, Ethernet 0 slash 1. And then I'm going to make this port an access port. And to do that, we tap the command switch port mode access an access port is a port that's connected to an end device for example it's connected to a pc a server a router 
something that is not another switch when we have a switch connected to a switch like in my working place the the mode that you have to apply for a link between the switches called trunk more on that in the follow-up videos so now i just wanted to know the difference between the access mode and the trunk mode as i've said by default the violation is set to shut down but we also have protect which will drop the packets and will not tell you when it happens and then we also have restrict which will also drop the packets but will let you know when there's a violation inside your switch so right now i'm gonna start with the protect mode to see how does it work then go to apply the restrict and then lastly we'll apply the shutdown mode switch port security maximum let's make it maximum of what as it is then switch port security like address let's make it sticky like address sticky meaning the switch will dynamically get the mac address for you you don't have to type it in the switch will as you plug in your device it will get that mac address for you then switch port port security violation protect enter the command to turn on port security it's switch port port security by typing this command you have enabled port security let's type end show port security it's a command that shows you the port security as you can see there it is we have maximum secure count one current zero so i just want to show you that protect doesn't lock it what i'm going to do right now I'm going to take off from first Ethernet one and then put it in another port. Let's put it on three and I want to take this one, that one that's connected to the trunk and then we put it on if one. Now on our laptop zero again, let's try to ping other devices like before. We go to command prompt, okay, ping 20, we can still reach 20. Let's see 30. Press timeout. Okay, control C. We see we can reach 30. 40. Let's see what's happening at 40. And also 40 won't be able to reach it. It's because of what? Remember, we gave the MAC address sticky command on the, our switch. And the MAC address that the switch got is the MAC address of our laptop 0. So right now we took out our laptop zero on that port and then we put in the MAC address, another MAC address, which is MAC address of our switch. So as soon as anything tries to go through or go in past Ethernet zero slash one, the violation will be triggered. As you saw, it didn't allow us to go through. It dropped, the, the packets were dropped. But when we go back into our switch, Let's go back into our switch and let's say do show port security. Enter secure violation count. As you can see, there's nothing there, it's zero, meaning the packets were dropped but were not locked. So now let's go to our interface again. Let's apply the restrict violation. Configure terminal interface first Ethernet zero slash one. Enter. Port, port security violation restrict enter now that we have applied restrict let's ping again from our pc pin.40 go into timeout we know control c let's pin 30 we know it's also going to timeout control c now let's pin 20 enter as we can see 20 is going through now let's go back into our switch again and give the command do show do show port security and as you can see the packets were dropped and were also locked secure violation count you can see four four packets were dropped and it was uh, it's also locked on our switch that the, the packets were dropped last but not least let's change the violation to shut down port port security violation shut down enter and then let's go back to our laptop let's start with 30 request timeout that's not going to go through control c 
okay now let's pin 20 let's pin 20 and see okay still go through it's going through because it's from first ethernet 0 slash 3 to first ethernet 0 slash 2 and let's pin 40 request timeout we know it's not going to go through control c now let's see as you can see our link is right here because of what the shutdown that we applied on a violation and to fix this to fix this we have to physically give it a shutdown command shut down enter and then give it no shutdown that's how you bring it up and then it will come up but imagine maybe it's late at night you are sleeping and you are on standby and something happens maybe someone is waking late late night and then they maybe plug their device in there just trying to see what will happen or they were trying to learn something and then it shut down they gave you a call you must come in and enable the no shutdown enable the, the port so that it can work again so imagine how stressing will that be having to wake up in the morning to come just to do to give that command no shutdown so there is a way around that situation you can apply the error disable recovery for port security violation and set it to an interval that you want for example you can set it maybe to be five minutes or ten minutes whatever time you want to set it will take it and then and then if the port is shut down after the time that you set the port will come up and if there's still mac address does not want it and then they do anything it will keep on shutting down coming back after the time that you set if you find this lesson informative share it with someone you think may also benefit from it don't forget to also hit the subscribe button and the like button in order to be notified when we drop another video let me love and leave you